all right what's up guys so part two of our little boat build series we are putting on we got some Knowles industry stuff like here's their cup and tray with their their tack hole in it and i've got the uh little fuel tank lid that's gonna go right here and hold my extra gas tank and i got a single cup holder and then i didn't realize it until i put before i put my holder in but i don't have any any bars anywhere on this boat so i bought some i think these are the three foot holes i think three four foot i'm gonna put them on then i've got my os handle for the driver's side that's got the switch when i'm gonna put my hydraulic jack plate on and then the other os handle that's going to go on the passenger side so what's going to be in this little series is we're going to be putting these on and then turf's going to go on and i'm not sure if i'm going to add something else or not i'm gonna see how much time we got i might throw the front light bar on if it ever gets in here from southern light but that's what's going to be in this video so we shall see i'm going to take the boat and actually drop it off to a local guy that does the turf he's going to be putting black turf in all around here not sure if i'm going to do the floor yet just because a few people on facebook have said it doesn't really get that hot in summer so i'm going to put that on and then up here at the the front deck all of that's going to be black turf so my last havoc had black turf and surprisingly it wasn't that hot so I'm gonna keep the same outlook and try to go with that, but I'm gonna probably throw y'all on the, the GoPro, might get Tristan to record, he's supposed to come over and help me. So we're gonna throw some of this stuff on and y'all enjoy it and stay tuned. All right, well, we've already hit our first roadblock and we haven't even started the process. So Havoc decided, I don't know if they messed up or if this is how it is on this body style, but as you can see, some of y'all, I'm sure y'all played with those little block machines as kids, but you got a little round object and a rectangular line. Well, that don't fit. Probably thinking, oh, you gotta just angle it. Okay, all right, Randy, well, that still don't work. So it's supposed to have a little like, hole cut out right here. So I'm gonna take the drill bit and kind of waller that open some so I can at least get these bolts in because to mount these parts in the T-rails, the that's all you've got to do is just slide them in get them to the length they need and then your little like cut out holes that's where your bolt will go and then you just put that bolt through the hole and then put a nut on it and you're done super super simple to put this stuff on so i'm gonna catch you on the time lapse and i'm about to open this hole up so we can get this show on the road so y'all stay tuned
so we got everything on. There's the, the cup holder, got the OS handle, we got it wired in. I don't have a battery in the boat, so y'all just kind of trust me, it's wired up right. But then we got the pasture OS handle, we got the cup holder, it ain't going nowhere. Big bars in, right now we're tightening this down. We gotta tighten down to the T-rails, but you gotta tighten down these bolts right here as well. So we're gonna tighten that down and then that's what she looks like. All the gadgets and gizmos. All right, we got Pearl Harbor happening over us right now. But we're gonna finish tightening these up things and next time y'all are gonna see this boat, is going to be at Bray's Boats. They're going to be laying the turf down, so y'all stay tuned for that.